Hi everybody, yesterday was International Women's Day, and in honor of International Women's Day, YouTube hosted a Dear Me campaign. And after watching several videos on the subject, I felt inspired to do my own Dear Me video. In case you aren't aware of what Dear Me is, this is what advice you could give to your younger self. Dear Me, you are going through a really tough time right now. You don't know who you are, and you hate the way you look. You feel like a giant disappointment, and you aren't sure what you're supposed to do with your life. Well, I'm here to give you some advice to help you along the way. First of all, you are beautiful. You have fat. You are not fat. You are more than the fat on your body. And you are not obligated to look any particular way for other people's benefits. Looking conventionally beautiful is not your rent for existing in this world as a woman. And you shouldn't wage war on your body. Your body is the biggest ally that you have. It works its hardest every damn day to make sure you are healthy and alive. So embrace what makes you different. Embrace your own humanity. Right now you probably feel out of place because you like what is considered nerdy things. And being nerdy right now isn't cool. But let me tell you this, 10 years from now, being nerdy actually gets kind of cool. And even if it wasn't cool, you meet a group of girls in college that embraces you for you. They don't think that you are a loser. They love you for you. And I know we went through that phase where we didn't like anything conventionally girly because we were told being girly was a bad thing. But let me tell you, it's not. You can like whatever you want to like. You want to like comic books? Like comic books. If you want to like pastel colors? Like pastel colors. Like pink? Like yellow? Like purple? Like green? Because at the end of the day, only you get to live with yourself. So live with yourself while doing things that make you happy. I guess if I can only give you one solid piece of advice is do no harm, but take no shit. On an individual basis, we're all responsible for making the world a better place. So if you can show kindness and compassion, do that. I know there are going to be times where it's easier not to say anything or not to do anything. But if you can give another person a slight sliver of hope, then you should give that person that hope. Because you never know where that person is going to get it. Now the take no shit option of this piece of advice. Yes, it's good to be respectful, yes, it's good to be nice, but if someone's walking all over you, you are in your right to defend yourself. You don't have to take the crude remarks or people policing what you wear or what you eat. And if they do try to do that, you're in your right to tell them to F off. And it's okay to be a little bit selfish sometimes. I know people say being selfish is a bad thing, but honestly, you need to take care of you first. And it's okay to cut people from your life if they're being toxic. If they're doing nothing but bringing you down, then you don't need those people in your life. I know you're going to feel guilty about cutting those people out from your life, but you're going to be in a much better place if you do that. And I know right now you're, pr you're not feeling very confident and you don't know what to do. And in the meantime, until you do figure out what you want to do, just fake it until you make it. Honestly, everyone else is so concerned about themselves making it that they're not going to notice that you're faking it. And let me tell you a secret, no one knows what they're doing. So if you do mess up, you're not the only one. You are special. You are unique. And most importantly, you are loved. And you didn't have to change a damn thing about you. We've been through a lot. And I have to say, I am really proud of you. And there are other people in our lives now that are also really proud of us. I hope this was helpful, and I can't wait to see you on the other side. Now, since I can't hug you and tell you that I love you, I'm going to do something that a popular YouTuber does. And it's probably cheesy, and it's probably corny, but we kind of like that thing, as much as we say that we don't. Till next time.